Cellar Wine and Spirits. So, 
uh, with regard to the specifics of uh, this uh, particular licensee, uh, Mr. Crowley, I wonder if you could just describe uh, what happened that day, what your history is in the hospitality, entertainment, and alcohol sale business. Well, I've been in this business for over 40 years. I'm, I'm retired, but I work part-time you know, a couple of days. And I've never had anybody get past me before with a fake or any kind of ID. I'm strict about checking IDs. This guy looked old enough to me. Also, I, had, I just uh, wasn't long out of the hospital after having a, a knee replacement surgery, so I was on medication, but it's no excuse, I suppose. But um, he walked into the establishment. He came in the door and he walked you know, around with a bunch of wine racks and then he kept looking over at me. I should have, should have been a red flag right away, but I let it pass. But I didn't check it out. And then he quickly came back in. So, and so also, wait, 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 sorry. So you were the cashier? Yes. Okay. Yes. And also, the, the six pack that he bought was non alcoholic. I don't have records of. I believe he bought a Heineken. No, we don't sell Heineken, so it wasn't Heineken. I believe, I said I'm not sure. I don't have records of which types were bought. So, so it's your testimony that in this case. You oh, don't wait. I would he I returned the six pack of beer and I would do what type of beer was it that he bought? Klaus Holler. Sorry? Klaus Holler. Mm. No, it was some sort of Heineken. But Officer Zito, do you recall what the I believe it was Heineken. The licensee testified they don't sell Heineken. Do, do you recall uh, concretely what it was? Well my I, I, okay, I can't be sure, but it was usually he he's been driving Heineken's all day on that okay. particular day. But, yeah. well, you can't grab what they don't sell. So. I'm not positive that was Heineken. Okay. What is the name of the non alcoholic beer? Klaus Holler. Klaus Holler? Do you have... No, I won't. Anything else? I think there's a lack of evidence here to demonstrate that the author purchased an alcoholic beverage. Neither of the two investigators assigned to the operation can state with any certainty what was purchased. The licensee, including the individual involved directly in the sale, reports that it was a non-alcoholic beverage and that the type of beverage being suggested by the two investigators is not sold. I'm sorry. I. I do have records of which types of alcohol were bought, just it's not the corresponding licensees. And there's a Heineken, 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 Leining Kugel Summer, and a Heineken Light. So did you sell Leining Kugel? Okay. Everything was a Heineken that you just said, except for the, the one. Heineken Light, Leining Kugel Summer, Heineken, Libby's Heineken, or sorry, not Libby's, Heineken. Are these notes you can share with the uh, counsel for the licensing? Oh, I think that's his investigative file. That's it. They don't have corresponding businesses attached to them, but those are the beers purchased on that day. So, so just to be clear, uh, Mr. Crump, you sell no Heineken of any. We don't sell Heineken. No. The no. other brand that he mentioned, the, the investigative movement that he mentioned. I might be able to look on a phone. I took pictures of all the six packs, and we would be able to tell if... Well, if you took pictures, then I think you need to go look at yours. Okay. That's your work phone? We can change it. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I'm sorry, can you speak up? Yes. We have been introducing different beers because people's tastes have gotten very sophisticated. Do you recognize this brand? Will I finish now? I don't recognize the name, but I do know the Klaus Tower because um, it's a non-alcoholic beer and a lot of people ask for it. And it, it could be mistaken for a Heineken because it, you know, the can looks very similar, but it's not a Heineken. You and saw I that in no six proof. packs? <coughs> the uh, Klaus Tolle, yes. But I can prove that I've never bought Heineken um, for the last two or three years from invoices from Horizon Beverage. 
They're the only people who sell Harmony Kids. So what I'm doing is I'm just checking the timestamp to see if it corresponds with either this or my work phone six pack. The date is August 15th. At 2.50 according to your license inspection form. Okay. So it's not on this phone. I have pictures of, well, let's see which exactly the timestamp, sorry, my apologies. This one is 4.20, 4 o'clock. I have of Leinen Kugel's Summer Shandy that corresponds to the date and time stamp of this inspection sheet. Which, and is that uh, one of the ones you mentioned on your list? It is. Mm -hmm. And you sell that, Ms. I, Carter? I think so. Me too, yes. Okay. And it is not non-alcoholic. It's, it's no alcohol. No, that's, no, that is alcohol, yes. yes. It is alcohol, yes. yes. It is an alcoholic beverage. Anything else? Uh, just a similar summation. I, I do think now that the commission has had the benefit of viewing this individual, it's appropriate to inquire when more than or 11 licensees, all of which have been testifying of the efforts they take and the vigilance they take uh, with regard to service of underage minors, and licensees are quite mindful of the consequences of that. These suspensions cause people to go without pay. Uh, they hurt the livelihood of a range of people. So a single employee uh, failing to exercise the proper judgment, but in having a good faith belief that someone was of a certain age, I think should be a significant factor in the deliberation of the commission in this particular instance. This has uh, uh, been described as a wake-up call. It may also suggest that the problem could be better served by a wider uh, program of education and a mindfulness uh, around the need, even when people don't appear to look a certain age, because I would respectfully suggest that it would not be unreasonable for an employee, and in this case we know of at least 11 of them, to make a conclusion given the size and uh, appearance of this individual that they were not a minor. I hope the board will take that into consideration now, having had the benefit of seeing uh, the appearance of this individual. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, I'm quite concerned about this type of violation. I think uh, the fact that someone is tall or not slim uh, does not give a reasonableness uh, defense to anyone. I think also under the law it's very clear that the only time a licensee is afforded a reasonable uh, an assumption of reasonable care is when they card and they use the cards and the IDs that are identified in state law as being appropriate to use um, in an era where we are told not to discriminate and not to make judgments as to people's appearances. I think it's um, very dangerous to assume just because someone is tall or uh, of a larger frame that they are not their age, that they're of a certain age. Um, with that said, again, 
I find that there's a violation here and consistent with everything else I would, um, and just for the record, because we didn't mention it in this case, this licensee has been in operation since approximately 2005. Um, and there is no apparent disciplinary history, or at least <coughs> no recent one. But with that said, I would vote uh, for a violation and I would issue a uh, two day suspension. Thank you.